as far as far as this, it is very normal for you to know that we are very many and we keep increasing in number each and every day or every second that goes by. But there's one thing, ladies and gentlemen, which is not increasing and that is land. Okay? So, as time goes on, we are building more schools, we are building more structures, and we are forgetting to make use of that resource which is not increasing, yet we are getting more and more people on the planet. So, as Africans, I want to call on you to forget one thing, and that is attaching everything you do in your life to the Western world. We need to go back to something we used to call Pan-Africanism. And you need to focus on the values we believe in here when it comes to health, when it comes to feeding, and when it comes to social relations with other people. You've been told in class and everywhere that we depend on agriculture as the backbone of the economy, but it's about time that we forget sitting that song and finally believe that we actually believe and trust that our economy depends on agriculture. Just for matters of sampling, how many people here do anything in agriculture? I am not surprised by the number. By the fact that it has more ladies than uh, gentlemen. <laughs> and ladies, this is where I want to empower you the most. Uh, for starters, the food you see in the world that we are eating today, 50% of it, which is a half, is produced by women. So, as the numbers continue growing, as the population grows bigger and bigger, women, we are still counting on you to keep producing for the population so that everyone is sustained. But, on that same note, you need to get your agriculture from just producing for your family at home and do a bit of the commercial agriculture, which we call agribusiness. So it is up to you to make the choice today because Africa as a continent depends on you to get to build small comfort zones and do a bit of selling, do a bit of value addition. If you've been reading through the media, you know what value addition is. But if you cannot directly get involved in agriculture, I want to bring to you a simple fact. Everyone here can be involved in agriculture without going to the farm, without getting dirty. And that's where I want to bring in the word value chain, okay? Because by the time you have food on your table, it's going from the farm, there's another part of the population that does agriculture at the farm, you have another section which ships it from there to the market, and then there are very many in the market who are doing different things to try and get the food to you finally at the table. But along this value chain, you could be the modern young person today who uses your phone to market the produce. Or you could use your Facebook account or anything modern. So you still earn your money along the value chain without study or going to the farm. That brings me to the most important